The British International Investment uh, BII, the UK government's development finance organization, has granted the Nigerian mobility fintech firm Move a $20 million four-year structured loan. The uh, investment demonstrates BII's commitment to raising funds to assist Nigeria to achieve self-sufficiency and market resilience, provide access to equitable economic opportunities, and fuel the nation's limitless entrepreneurial ambition. Joining us to discuss further, Shakira Adigun, who is an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Shakira, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Hi. So uh, what do you know about this deal? Did well, you sign this? Were you part of this deal? <laughs> <laughs> Did you sign this deal? What, what do you know about the deal? Okay, tell us. Okay, so Move is a fintech startup that um, serves as a platform for uh, vehicle financing to um, drivers who don't have access to finance their vehicles. Mm. And then BI, on the other hand, is a finance institution, the development finance institution that um, provides impact focused investments to support country, developing countries um, who um, are able to make impact to their country and better um, make their communities better and live better lives, basically. Mm. So for um, BI to be able to give such a loan to uh, MOVE, they must have done their background check to see that it's a viable business. So they must have seen that it's going to impact Nigeria positively, in uh, economically, socially, whatever. And then they've seen that it's um, commercially sustainable. Yeah. And this is why they have decided to give this loan to um, MOVE. Yeah. So what, what's the likely impact on, I guess, transportation sector or, I don't know, employ employment? Or what, what, what do you see as the outcome of this? Okay, you can see that um, the funds that um, BI has given MOVE will enable them to purchase and import brand new cars into the country mm. and then lease these vehicles to drivers who will then have the opportunity to earn, like to possess these assets um, over the period of three to four years. And then this way it has been able to create job opportunities for them and as well as giving them access to um, vehicle financing. Then if you look at the industry itself, if this, if um, MOVE is able to successfully implement this, mm. to utilize these funds very well, they will be able to, and other investors, because now it's, it's not a good time to invest, like as right. yep. Exactly. Yep. So if they've seen that this um, investments or this loan that they've given MOVE has actually been successfully implemented, it will attract more investors and then um, it will be, they'll be able to develop the transportation sector, the industry in Nigeria. Okay, I think, uh, what was the figure? Road transportation, um, I think it contracted by 5%, 4.6 or 4.5, 4 4.8% mm -hmm. thereabouts in the first quarter of 2022. Does this in any way improve that sector. Do you think if you know we get more of these types of investments going into um, that, that that improves? Is there a link at all? So one major um, reason for the decline in con on, in contribution in road transportation's contribution to the GDP is because of the insecurity that is going on in the country presently, uh -huh. and also there's been a ban placed on bikers. So there has been um, reduced availability of transport systems, and even it has affected the jobs of these riders. Mm. So if they're able to, um, with this support from BII now, I'm guessing, it, I want to believe that it would somewhat boost its contribution to the GDP of the country because you have more jobs, more cars, more availability of transport systems, and then more investors. And they're able to now, like, this could cause them to go into other states in Nigeria, which would, if you total it up, it would um, okay. increase, contribute to the GDP. All right, but 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 what what this this is a dollar facility, and if, as I understand it, you it's a dollar loan. They're going to get proceeds in naira from the uh, drivers that they loan these cars and so on to, who pay back, and then they're paying back in that. What about the exchange rate risk? Isn't that a, a clear and present danger? So this investment is definitely done in U.S. dollars, and I'm. I want to believe that they're going to pay back in U.S. dollars. They pay better. <laughs> so, <laughs> they better pay back. So, and then with the way that the, um, if Naira actually further depreciates, it's yep. going to mo uh, move will have to pay more yep. in order to meet up with the obligations. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. Let's say I get a loan from you for uh, a 100,000 loan from you at the okay. rate of 100 Naira to a dollar. Oh, and at gosh. the time, I'm supposed to... Give my right hand for that rate <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, and if, by the time I'm supposed to pay back, yeah. it's so it's now $200, uh, 200 naira to a dollar. Yep. I would have to pay you more. I'd be paying $200,000. Um, exactly. Yeah, to you. So, yeah, if, because of the rates now, I think they'll have to pay more eventually if naira... It, move, it moves. Yes. 
What about interest rates? What about inflation? What about all those other headwinds and the, uh, the impacts it could have on them paying back, not just exchange rates or risk? Okay. So if um, the, agree the agreement of this four-year um, credit structure, if, um, I mean, structured credits, if it was, if the, it's to pay, if the loan was made, if it was a fixed interest rate, I don't think there will be anything to, it won't affect move like that because they know how much they're paying mm. and it's a fixed amount. However, if it's a flexible interest Ooh, rate. Oh, the deadly floating rate. Exactly. Rates. Yeah. So it means that if interest rates has increased, they would have to pay more. The, the borrowing costs will increase. Yeah. However, if interest rates reduce, it will benefit a move and yeah. the borrowing costs reduce. However, it's looking like the interest rate is not going to yeah, come bank, down. <laughs> the Bank of England is raising soon. rates. Exactly. Yeah. Bank of so, England is raising rates. So yeah, yeah, that's one risk that I would. Uh, it won't. No. Exactly, uh, Shakira Adigo. I appreciate you coming in to talk to us about move and this twenty million dollar facility they've gotten from from Britain. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much.